Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now onto the video. Hey guys, what's up? Cece back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Don't mind the coffee machine over there. It's just warming up for the morning, okay? So today, well one, I thought I'd do a little intro for you guys for this vlog because I haven't done one of these. I don't think I've ever done one of these. Maybe once or twice a while ago, but um, this is gonna be a fitness vlog. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna take you in the day, in the life, like a regular day in the life of my fitness routine. And you guys I am not in the best of shape I don't have the flattest stomach I don't have the most toned arms you know but I do go work out three to four times a week I'm always showing you guys workouts and things on Instagram and stuff like that so I just wanted to incorporate one of these vlogs onto the YouTube channel and fitness is a huge part of my life I know like I said I don't have the most toned body but that is one of my goals is to work on that and the biggest thing that I have to work on really is the kitchen I don't have any problem working out but it's getting in the kitchen and actually doing what I'm supposed to do right so today I'm gonna take you on the day of life of like well you can't go inside of my workout class because I'm going to Orange Theory today um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating all day and I'm gonna talk to you guys about my macros because I'm actually going to start tracking my macros today all right so first thing we do in the morning is have protein coffee if you guys aren't following me on Instagram you definitely should be because I show you guys how to make this on Instagram but I'm gonna show you here on YouTube as well so what I use for my protein coffee let me show you so you can actually do what you want to do and put actual protein powder in the coffee I mean whatever you want to do but that is gross to me so what I do to get my protein in, in my coffee is I use the premier protein it's 30 grams of protein for one of these but I only use half of it so I just put half of it in a glass with some ice with some coffee shots and that's how I do my protein coffee for the morning so it's 160 calories one gram of sugar 24 vitamins and minerals and it's low fat so if you guys want to screen shot that those are the nutritional values and I'll make sure this is linked down below just my favorite stuff right here I love 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 this so much so let me show you how I make it concoction such as this one and this is just gonna give me energy to get through my workout now my workout isn't for another two hours and ten minutes but that's good because I don't like anything sitting on my stomach when I work out I do fasted cardio for the most part so if I have anything before a workout it's coffee or water I usually do not have food because I, most of the time I always work out in the morning so I'm gonna down this coffee over the next couple of hours and I'm gonna be ready for my workout Oh, and FYI, starting today, I'm just going to be super precise about what I eat. So you guys see me, seen me actually use a measuring spoon for my creamer. When have you ever seen that? Like, you really don't need this creamer, but it adds just a little bit more sweetness. The sweetness that I love and that I crave. That's the reason I can't get myself together in the kitchen. So this just adds a little something. It was 40 calories, and um, yeah. So I went ahead and added that, but... This Premier Protein is so good. I have the caramel one. I don't know if I said that, but I have the caramel one. Like, I don't know that you need more creamer, but I just like my stuff super sweet, so. All right, peeps, let's head to the gym. I'm gonna get pumped up this morning. I am so motivated this morning. It's Monday morning and I am just like 
I'm so motivated. The coffee helps, of course. But um, I'm not a big pre-workout person. Like sometimes I'll take pre-workout depending on what the workout is. Like when we have our um, like benchmark days at my gym. So we're doing like a mild benchmark or a um like we do like a run for distance like a 12 minute run for distance benchmark when we do those things like uh, yes i'm like give me all the pre-workout because i really want to hit my marks and like beat my last time but on a regular workout day i'm not a big pre-workout person it just i feel like it gives me the jitters like afterwards and i'm like itching and i just i don't love that feeling coffee helps for me as long as i have it like at least an hour before the workout i can't have it right before the workout because one it makes me use the bathroom you know might be tmi but it is what it is it makes me use the bathroom man so i can't have it right before the workout but i also um like I said, I just don't like liquids sitting on my stomach when I go to work out. So I have my water with me and today I'm using my Yeti, my Yeti water bottle. I have my water with me, but I'm probably going to run first. Like, so we have a choice of what station we wanna start at and I'm probably gonna start at the treadmill first. So I don't even like to drink a lot of water before my workout because I don't like, again, liquids sitting on my stomach. I feel like it makes me feel heavy and you can like feel the liquid moving around in your stomach when you have too much. So I don't even like to drink a lot of water before my workout. I will drink it like I'll drink a little bit during the run and then after the run when I'm going to lift weights that's when I will hydrate the most because I need it <laughs> like I wish I could drink it during the run I see some people like downing the water during the run and I'm like how are you doing this like I feel like that liquid would just be sitting there and moving in my stomach and I just can't I can't take that you know so um yeah headed to work out and that's that. I think, is it my first time working out with these lash extensions? Did I work out? No, I didn't work out this weekend. And I was supposed to, but I didn't. But it's my first time work working out with these new, this new set of lash extensions. So, um, I mean, they should be fine. But, yeah, they should be fine. You guys, I am the worst at, like, time management and figuring out like <laughs> figuring out when I need to leave to be somewhere I am the absolute worst like I either get to a place super early I'm either there like 20 minutes early or I'm like five minutes late because I underestimated the time I'm supposed to be there is that like do y'all do that I feel like I'm up early enough clearly I've been up since early this morning so I'm up early enough but I'll procrastinate until the last second and not leave until like the last or not get up I should say and finish doing like my last minute things until the last minute like and I'm going to the gym like I won't get up until the last minute to get my water get my shoes on like everything's there and ready but I just haven't done the, those last minute things and then I end up being like like a, a couple minutes later than I want it to be like it never fails or I'll get up super early, I'll be ready to go. And then I'm super early and I'm just sitting in the car. It's never like a happy medium where I get there like in a great time. I don't know, I have issues with that. Anyway, I'm about to head into this workout and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What's up you guys? So um, did that workout, bodied it. I burned about a little over 500 calories. I'll put my Apple Watch like the summary and everything right here but i just i love orange theory so much y'all uh, that that is my happy place seriously i feel so good when i do one of those workouts but um it is a little afternoon i've already showered put on a little dress and it is now time for lunch i was trying to decide between a chicken salad and a um uh, ch the chicken like stir fry that I do sometimes and I think I'm gonna go with the stir fry just to get more carbs in so that consists of some broccoli and carrots some jasmine rice and some chicken so we're going to I don't feel like putting the chicken on the stove I'm gonna season it up throw it in the air fryer and then um let me put the rice on first and then I'll put the chicken on <music>
Okay, last on the list are the veggies. I could have popped them in the air fryer, but I just like the chicken to cook alone. I feel like I needed a bigger air fryer, which I got one yesterday, which I'll show you guys in a second. But I'm just gonna use this vegetable medley right here. And this has broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in it. So I don't usually eat cauliflower, but I'm just gonna do it. So I'm just gonna put it on in a pan and like put it on top of the stove and then I'll mix it in with the chicken and the rice and that's gonna be a quick and easy lunch. I'm actually just gonna cook this entire bag because one, it's about to go bad and then two, again, I can split it up into two meals. So we're gonna do that now, but I wanna show you guys because I did get another air fryer yesterday. I had never heard of this brand, so I hope it works good, but we have this store um, around us it's called Ollie's so there's the like the price tag it was 60 bucks it's called Ollie's and it just has like a hodgepodge of stuff like you can find I don't know like when stores have like overstock and things like that you can find all of that stuff in Ollie's and so I got this air fryer it is a 7.2 quart so it is huge. They have one sitting out in the store. I think this one is only like a 4.6 quart or something like that. Maybe a 5 quart. This one, oh my god. It has so much, so much space. And I am I cannot wait to use this. I'm hoping it works well. Again, I, I have never um, heard of this brand, La Gourmet. But I'm hoping it works well. And it'll be really nice just to have this for my family. You guys know we have a large family. So it'll be really nice to have this. Um, in, in order to cook whether I have to use this and this little one or I only have to use the big one it'll just be nice to be able to cook everything at one time and not have to wait so um, yeah I can't wait to pull this bad boy out So all the food is done. I just halfened everything out so it's in a little bowl like this. I halfened out the veggies and then I have three fourths cup of rice in here. Probably won't eat all that rice but I have some leftover so I just threw it in there. And now I'm going to prep the chicken. Um, I have my food scale and I will link this below. I also, I've been, I told you guys I started tracking my macros today and so, um, let me tell you what I get for today or did I already tell you I can't remember but it's a moderate carb day so I get 133 grams of protein and 155 grams of carbs for the day so when I put this rice in that's probably gonna knock me up there for the carbs but we'll see so I'm gonna weigh out the chicken I want about, I don't know yet. I have to figure out how many ounces, how ounces convert to grams and how many ounces of chicken I want. So five and a half ounces of protein is what I'm gonna have for this meal. So let's just throw that in there. So I have six ounces of chicken in the bowl that I'm going to eat today and 6.4 ounces in the bowl for tomorrow. So I'm going to put that in my fitness pal um, in my app today so I know what it is when I eat it tomorrow. And then I have this, uh, what is this, sweet chili chef sauce this right here it's 80 calories per two tablespoons so I'm gonna put two tablespoons on top of that and then we're ready to eat with my meal I'm also gonna have this 10 calorie cranberry juice y'all know 
I talk about these all the time. This is the diet one. So I'm going to have that one as well. And let's go and eat. So I just finished oh some of my camera. I just finished my lunch and it was good good like good 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 I did not eat it all so I still have some of the cauliflower left and I have some of the rice left But I'm gonna leave all of the calories in there. I mean if I eat less calories, I never kill anybody, you know, so I'm gonna leave all the calories in there. So yeah I'm gonna leave those little extra calories, but I wanted to show you guys like what I've been using, what I'm, well, my fitness pal, y'all know I use that and I've been using that for years. So that's what I use to like track my food and stuff. And I'm also going to put my workouts in there as well. All right, I'm going to record my screen here so you guys can see it and I'll put it on the screen right here. So um, my fitness pal basically you guys have seen what that looks like i do not have the premium the premium i think is like 80 dollars a year or it's it's like 80 dollars a year or like 10 dollars a month or eight dollars something like that and i'm not paying for it i'm just gonna continue to use the free version however um i mean you you don't get all of the features that everyone else gets but you know it is what it is so when i go to my um my app here this is my daily calorie intake this is like what i have left so basically like i told you guys i start off with 1768 calories for the day and so far i have eaten 677 calories worth of food and drink and that leaves me with 1091 calories to go so for breakfast i had the protein coffee and then for lunch I just had that meal that I just made. So um, it's a pretty filling meal for 557 calories. So I have a little over a thousand calories to go for the day. I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner yet. This is where I have a problem because I feel like at this point now I'd be like, oh, well, um, I'll just go get something to eat if I don't feel like cooking later because I don't like to cook twice a day. So that's why meal prepping is so important, which I have not done, which I'm gonna start doing. You can also put your water in my fitness pal and then you can add your friends and kind of congratulate each other pat each other on the back leave messages and things like that like really encouraging messages and stuff like that so that's why i like uh my fitness pal again i'm not gonna pay for it but i do like it so so next i'm going to show you guys because um i have been using this website to track my macros every time that like I get really into my fitness plan, I try to track my macros. So I'm gonna go to this website and I'll show you guys like where I go and how I track it and all that stuff. So you guys, this calculator is super nice because it literally does all the work for you, I swear. So all you have to do is input your information. I have my age, my height, my weight. Whew, don't judge me y'all because we didn't gain some weight okay <laughs> and then you need to change um your activity level so i put mine as active which is working out three to four times a week which i do and then you click calculate and literally it calculates every single thing so here you can see that, first of all, it tells you your BMI score, it told me that I'm obese, you know, how that goes. But it also says, if you look at the bottom, it says don't read too much into the BMI because it depends on if you if you um, lift weights and a bunch of different stuff. Like, I, I never pay attention to that. I don't feel obese, so, uh, you know, <laughs> ain't nobody looking at that. But what this page is good for is that it tells you how many calories to eat depending on the type of weight loss or weight gain you want to do it even it even handles weight gain it also handles weight maintenance as well 
This page is really nice also because as you scroll down a little to the bottom, you can go ahead and recalculate and you can calculate it for, you'll see in a second, you can calculate it um, for high carb, a high carb diet, a high protein diet, a low carb diet, and it's really cool. Like I said, does all the work for you. You literally have to do nothing. So I'm putting in my information again and you guys will see in a second. Here it is. So if you see the little blue tabs that I'm clicking on, it gives you the calculations for a balanced diet, a low fat diet, a low carb diet, a high protein diet, or you can create your own customized diet plan. So it tells you how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbs, how many grams of fat and sugar and all that stuff you're supposed to have in a day. And then at the bottom where it says food energy, it tells you, it equals out to your amount of calories that you want. So I said I wanted moderate rate weight loss, which is to lose one pound a week. They also have one that has aggressive weight loss and and it's a plan that helps you lose two pounds a week. It's pretty aggressive, but if that's the boat that you're in and that's what you wanna do, you can totally do that. So the reason I love this website, again, is just because it does all the work for you. There's nothing for you to do. You just plug in your information and it gives you all of your numbers. Like I will keep tracking my food really good in my fitness pal for a couple of weeks and then I'll fall off. And it's so easy to fall off just because it's like, I don't know, sometimes I just don't wanna log my food or sometimes I'll be off my diet, which is really the problem. I'll be off my diet and I will, you know, not weigh out my food and I'm just kind of guessing what it is. And then that just makes it a little harder and it makes me not wanna log it because I know it's not accurate. So if anything, having my fitness pal is really helpful to keep me on track because I'm like, man, I have to make sure that I am eating things that I can actually track. So I like when I make foods at home because I can actually track it, I can weigh it, I know exactly what I put in it and it just makes it a lot easier to track it. Plus a lot of times I'll eat the same meals and then it's easy for me just to quickly add it in there. So pray for me y'all because we're gonna try to make this work. I really want to start seeing the change in my body. The funny thing is I feel the most in shape that I have ever felt in my entire life. I can run faster, I can run longer, I can lift heavier, I can do all that stuff like more than I've ever done in my entire life, but I feel like I don't look like I go to the gym, if that makes any sense. Like I'm the heaviest um, as well, and I just don't look like I go to the gym. So I have to make some changes and it starts, it definitely starts in the kitchen. And so these apps and websites are all super helpful just to, just to help me stay on track. So that's that. What's up y'all? I just wanted to come and end out this vlog. I forgot to show you guys my dinner. I'm really sorry, but I had um, like a healthy, Y'all, he just here. I have like a healthy taco. Um, I don't, I don't like much on my taco. Like I didn't have the actual shell or anything like that. So let me go to the My Fitness Pal app. So I'm looking at my My Fitness Pal app. Dinner was I had ground beef, um, one tablespoon of sour cream. I had some mild taco sauce, which is only 10 calories. I didn't realize that. And then I had some shredded cheese. And so that whole thing for dinner only came up to 383 calories, which left me with like a little over 600 calories. So I made a bowl of popcorn. I will not be eating all this popcorn, but you guys know I only like make my popcorn on the stove. I don't use like microwave popcorn. So it's air pops, popcorn, a little bit of salt and, um, some like spray movie butter on top and that's zero calories so all in all 
with everything I'm eating. I already have it in my MyFitnessPal app. I still have 127 calories left for the day. So I'm going to have another one of these um, sparkling cranberry juices. But I'm going to have the full 70 calorie one tonight. And that will be that. So I have to figure out like what I want to do is figure out how to... I don't know healthier more filling meals that's like that's on my agenda to figure out as the weeks go on just how to make more filling meals that are more filling meals that are I don't want to say healthier but maybe a little less calories like I feel like lunch was pretty heavy it was good and it was my first meal of the day but it was pretty heavy well 557 calories maybe it wasn't as heavy as I think it was but I don't know it just it felt more heavy plus I didn't eat all that so I really wasn't 557 calories but just finding more filling meals that will stay within my calorie count and my macros so that is what I'm going to be working on in the future and I think that's it if you guys liked this vlog and you want to see more of them let me know give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe if you have not I love you guys so so much thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye guys